Well, hi and welcome to Edison Lightglobes. I'm Phil Greenwood and today what we're going to do is um, explain to you one of our products and how we assemble it. It is what we call a hexagonal bulkhead wall light with this glass containment. It's meant to go on um, ceilings, it can go on walls, you could use this down a passageway. Uh, there's a whole lot of uses for this thing. We have, you have people who use them in uh, bathrooms. Um, but these are cast aluminium, they're quite heavy uh, and they consist of two parts, obviously the base and the uh, thing, whatever you call that, that holds the glass. Um, now, despite the fact that we call them hexagonal, there is a technical name for this shape. Um, uh, it's possibly a lozenge, it's possibly a faceted octagon, uh, but it fact it's an uneven length, I don't know, anyway, it doesn't really matter, hexagonal will do. So the first thing we have to do with these is we have to um, bond the glass component to the aluminium framework which has a rebate especially made for it. So we do that with a special or a reasonable, reasonably available clear silicon. So this is a bathroom silicon and what we need to do is just apply a bead of that silicon as even as possible around the, the rebate and I'm going to try and do this without my glasses on. Uh, there we go, nearly done. Now the idea is, if we can, is to not let the silicon touch the glass and let it sit in that bead of silicon. Just get it even, just wiggle it around. I think that's even. There you go. And we leave that to cure for two days. So after the uh, silicon is sealed and this is in the solid, we then go on to prepare the, the base with the lamp holder. And um, David's gonna show you exactly what we're doing here. We, we're currently doing this one as a um, a rear wired version. We can wire these for conduit connection, but this one is being done with a drilled hole in the back. So David's gonna just go through the process now. Just go close up on here, Louis. So what we're gonna do is first apply the jig. So we know exactly where to drill exactly the same time every time. Go for it. So this is where we uh, use the drill press just to put the uh, hole into the base of the, uh, the bulkhead so that the wiring can go uh, from the lamp holder into the mains behind the wall. Get into it. You need a lamp holder? Or you haven't got one? Well, I've got them all. Here. So what are we using? We're using a standard there you go, E27 brass lamp holder for this particular customer. Um, I'm going to get this ready. I've lost all your screwdrivers. Uh, insert the uh, the all thread into the uh, specially designed lamp holder that has that all thread end and certainly screw that in so it doesn't come loose I would imagine this is going to go into the mount bracket or oh, it's going to be wide first yeah okay 
So we wire in, I can't see this without the glass. <laughs> Active neutral earth in the correct sequence. Active center terminal on the globe and neutral on the screen <coughs> of the globe. Perfect. We just put the wire through the uh, all thread, push the terminal into the top of the lamp holder, and then fix. You don't need that. Um, Jigger either. You can take the take this off. Just take the. We don't need that, do we? Ring. So that fixes and via a ratchet holds that fix so that it can't be undone. Perfect. This goes on. This goes on first. First. With a special screw that you don't have. <laughs> He's got to go inside and get one. It's a self-tapping. What do they call it? What's it tap called? Tight. A tap tight. So the idea is it'll thread into the uh, aluminium and hold, but you don't need to actually put a thread in. Just a hole. Just a hole. Nearly perfect. <laughs> what do we need now? That, that, and a, and a nut and a bolt. Oh, I'm just getting a nut and a bolt, I think. There you go. And a washer. Oh, you got one. Got a washer. So a star washer. Yeah. Again, to stop the uh, the nut from coming undone. Now the, uh, on this occasion the uh, cable is going through the rear so that it can be wired uh, 20, 240 volts uh, to connect to mains, possibly wire a junction box behind the ceiling or just into connectors. We use Wago connectors but um, your local electrician will do what he needs to do and the surface that he's in whether it's brick, concrete, plaster, wood, Paper, maybe not paper. Maybe not. Maybe not. Need a small shifter? Well, yeah. oh, he's got a special tool. Another special yeah. tool. It's probably not there, Dave. I'll do it with the shifter. Has he got one? He's got one. And front tight. That's it done. We're now then can attach in the fashion that we attach this top. Now, before we do that, I'll explain. We can put a rubber seal or neoprene seal in this surface uh, so that with the rear um, wiring excluded from water and this as a rubber seal, we can make these useful where there needs to be waterproofing. Although it is a little bit um, inaccurate so the rubber seal will need to be fairly thick but it will create a waterproof bulkhead of some degree so but for this one we're just going to put it in because it's going inside it's no problem 
So we put them in like that. And we use um, these nickel plate. Uh, this stainless steel. Stainless steel. Stainless steel with uh, castle heads. What do they call those nuts? Uh, acorn nuts. See, acorn nuts. There's a bloody word for everything yeah. there. <laughs> Acorn because you Glue find them. Glue them too. And we what use a uh, Loctite yeah. so they stay fixed. And they're called acorn nuts because we just find them on the ground. Is that right? Yeah. We keep them over winter. Okay. Store, Store them over for winter. winter. That's it. All we need to do is just uh, make sure that the, the last screw goes in. And this is the, the the screw that the customer uses to undo to change the light globe. Should that be necessary. <coughs> We just check that this all works, and that goes tight, and then hopefully we don't get too much rattle. That, that's pretty good. So there you have it, the finished product. Now, you can put these, as I say, anywhere on a wall, a ceiling, anywhere you like. They'll fix to a surface through the four fixing screws. Um, they can be made waterproof, so possibly IP rated um, that we would test for you, but uh, most of the time these go inside. They're, a, they're an Art Deco sort of aluminium thing, so they're applicable to a lot of different applications. But there it is, they're available on our website. They're all pretty much always in stock. Um, remember, if you like our videos, to subscribe. And I think it's down there, is it? Or is it down there? I think it's down there. It's one side of the I think other. it's down there. Somewhere. So subscribe <laughs> to our videos. Uh, but uh, we'll have more videos coming soon, but for now, thanks for watching.